Hey everybody, Tom Barnes. Stories from the 78. The 78 today being in Lincoln Park, and that's where I am talking to my friend Neshla. How are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. It's the start of summer. It's like 90 degrees today, and that's why I'm chatting with you because you're bringing this amazing uh, stems from an Egyptian myth, the Firebird, to the Chicago Park District to help celebrate the birth of summer, the rebirth of summer, I should say. And uh, with 16 workshops and four, I'm sorry, 16 pop-ups and four workshops. I got that backwards, am I right? Correct, yes. I'm gonna do four workshops in four different cultural centers throughout the city, in the north, the south, the west, um, the east. And then also I will do pop-ups in 16 different Chicago parks. So you can get to experience all these beautiful parks of the beautiful city of Chicago. We do have, I mean, there are so many different parks. Have you been to these parks before? Or will this be your first time to most of these? Yeah, I have been to just, uh, how do you say, location scout, scouting location. Oh, yeah, sure. Yes. And so I've been to them, visiting them. And um, the, these events with Night Out in the Parks with the Chicago Parks District is amazing. I get to really know different parks and learn about the different neighborhoods by doing these pop-ups. Yeah, and it's just this wonderful thing that uh, people, it's a great way for people to explore the city like you did and what you will do. Um, but talk about the actual dancing, because I know the workshops are kind of designed to get people to be able to do these pop-ups, right? Because this is very much about what you, you know, it's nomadic, you know, that's why it's going all over the city. It reflects on your life and, your tr and what you've done in your life. Am I right about that? Yes, totally correct. Um, my heritage is uh, very nomadic. I come from a long line of nomadic tribes from the mountains of Anatolia in present day Turkey. And wow. I grew up in Berlin, Germany. So even growing up, I was very nomadic going back and forth between Turkey and Germany. And then also as a dancer, it's a very nomadic life. You go from city to city, often performing for different audiences. And so during the pandemic, I was just reflecting on um, just going deeper into the ancient tradition of dance and where dance comes from. Dance comes from us celebrating nature and the return of the seasons and the cycles of life. And so I was like, how do I best bring that to Chicago? And that was um, where pa Firebird emerged out of that um, being locked in the inside for a year and reflecting on um, how to best engage audiences and people and bring dances to uh, people rather than have people come to a location. Sure, sure. how long are the, uh, the, the pop-ups? How long do they last for? Um, they're like around an hour, which the performance part is um, 15 minutes and then there is the learning of movements and then exploration. All the good stuff. All the good stuff. So it starts with, I ask people and give them feathers to make wishes or what they want to transform in their lives, maybe to reflect on that and then I'll perform. And then I'll invite them to learn some of the bird power moves like flapping your wings and uh, following your dreams with your beaks. Um, and uh, your intuition and so yeah it's really fun for everyone and, and your oh, oh, for everybody fantastic and that is something that i think it will depend on the neighborhood the different vibes that you get from each neighborhood and when you went out and scouted was there a specific park that you were just blown away that it's sitting here in the middle of the united states where you're like this does not feel like chicago this feels like somewhere else Hmm. Yeah, I mean, like the Burnham, Burnham Wildlife Corridor, it sort of like reminds me of the Mediterranean, the, the lakeside. So yeah, and, and then the fields. And yeah, it's just like if you wouldn't have the skyline, you wouldn't think you're in Chicago in the city of Chicago. Yeah, Chicago does that to you. Yeah. And I also love uh, small places like the Peace Garden in um, the lakeside trail when you go under a bridge you come to this circular opening of this garden that it's so hidden like I wouldn't have 
founded on my own if I didn't do these pop-ups and uh, scout locations. Yeah, that's the best part. It's one of my favorite things is just to, you know, take a day, sometimes a weekend and just explore the city because there is something new that you will find every time you do it. And this is a great way to do it. And these events, uh, for people to find information, what's the best way for them to find out about the specific spots? So on my website, www.ny2dance.com, there's a event page and it's listed on the Firebird and all the events are listed and the addresses and the parks also. And there's also a map that they can click on, a Google map that kind of shows the path of Firebird. And uh, one more thing, I also want people to really explore out of their like region. People like to tend stay in their neighborhoods, but like oh yeah, this is the perfect spot um, to go south if you live north and vice yeah, versa. Follow and discover a new side of Chicago, and that's what was so exciting for me too to do these pop ups. I wanted to people connect and different communities to connect with each other and discover new things about the, their city. That's the best part, discovering new things about the city. When is the first one? What's the date of the first one? So the first one is um, June 8th, and it will be at the Westridge uh, Nature Nature Park, Westridge Nature Park in the north. And yep, that's close to me. The day before is a workshop, free workshop at Burger Cultural Park in the mansion. Fantastic. Burger Mansion. So there will be a movement workshop June 7th, and then the first one is June 8th. And the rest of them are up on your website, and people can take a look at that. So thank you so much. It's been an absolute pleasure talking with you today, and thank you for bringing this wonderful cultural experience to Chicago. Thank you. Thank you so much. Take care. No